let's look at some of uh, the commonly known best practices and, and what most people think of when they think of um, airflow management at the row level and data center containment. So primarily this involves, uh, and the first step is always to uh, install doors at the ends of the aisle and contain either the hot or the cold aisle. Uh, as I mentioned, this is the first thing you want to do. Um, it can reap significant benefits, um, even if that's all you do. Uh, if you have a limited budget, just putting doors on the ends of the cabinets can block that exhaust air recirculation around the ends of the row and uh, significantly improve conditions. Here's a few examples of, of what doors are uh, available. There's bi-directional doors. These swing in and out and attach magnetically. There's a wide variety of sliding doors available on the market. This one has a transom above it to match the height of the cabinets. There's single um, hinged doors. Uh, these typically um, swing just out and uh, hinge on one side. And then of course, we all know about curtains. And uh, although uh, they've got a lot of problems, they do solve some very challenging situations where its uh, conditions make it very difficult to install a door um, on the end of an aisle. So then moving on to the top of the cabinets, um, we're talking about rack top containment. Um, <clears throat> this is typically necessary when the highest levels of efficiency and capacity uh, from the cooling infrastructure are desired. And this can be done in a number of ways. Um, either with uh, just some partial baffles or with a full roof. Um, in a hot aisle configuration, uh, this would be baffles or duct work up to the drop ceiling and then ducting the cooling units up to the drop ceiling uh, to create a complete path for that exhaust air to return to the cooling units. So here's uh, again some examples of how that looks in um, and what the options are here on the left we have a ceiling with rigid panels so this is a rigid frame and these panels are sensitive to temperature and in the event of a fire they become flexible and lose their structural integrity and just drop out of the the ceiling frame and uh, for partial containment when uh, a quicker and uh, less expensive solution is desired is uh, modular or rack top baffles. These are rigid baffles, they don't move. They attach magnetically on tops of the cabinets and uh, they block the exhaust air flowing over the tops of the cabinets. And they also contain the cold air, but they leave enough space for gaseous fire suppression to enter the aisle and for uh, sprinklers to um, get some water into the aisle. So in most cases, these are approved by the local authority having jurisdiction. Um, there are national fire codes, but the local authority is the person, your fire marshal is who you need to check in with on any of these solutions to make sure that uh, they approve of, of what you're doing. For hot aisle containment, here's some examples. This would be a chimney sitting on top of the cabinets and and uh, going all the way up to the drop ceiling. This was this dark image here shows a cooling unit extension. This is essentially a, a chimney on top of the cooling unit, um, but the air is going the opposite direction. Obviously it's flowing through the ceiling plenum and then down into the cooling unit. And then here's the modular or the partial containment example uh, for hot aisle containment, which just has vertical baffles. And uh, these just help direct the hot air towards the ceiling where the ceiling registers are going to be and the hot air can enter. Um, this uh, solution, or even without these vertical baffles, simply ducting the cooling units to the drop ceiling and installing doors on the ends of the aisle uh, can get a great deal of benefits. Um, I've heard some people uh, say, you know, 80% of the benefits of, of full hot aisle containment can be achieved just by putting doors on the ends of the aisle and a uh, ceiling plenum return. 
Um, whether that's going to be 80 or 70 or 90 percent of the benefits of full containment depends on the unique conditions of your facility. Thank you.